poison? It was three days and nights before all felt a sweet, heavy drowsiness come upon them on their journey far away from the royal resting place. What a horrible thing to do. How else was the tomb to be kept a secret? Only the great priest did not drink the wine. And so the secret was passed to his son, and so on through time itself. So the power is in here now. Look, it's the other bead. The power is there, but only if it is used wisely. Oh, no! Come back! Lock the door and don't let anybody in. I'll be back. Wow. What was all that? Was it a trick or some sort of magic? Must be Amor's hypnotic powers again. Colin, this is serious. I know. You saw what happened. Yes. Strange. Did that bead really do all that? He said it had the energy of 500 men. And the other bead? Was that in this drawer? Yes, look. It had a false bottom. It's not fair. I knew there was something in this drawer. But it was opened by the little key we sent to Tata's kidnapper. And we know that wasn't Anwar. Unless he got someone else to phone us. While he was here. Oh, I don't know who to trust anymore. What did that Smith bloke call Mr. Hellman? Johann Hellman, the international criminal. But that's only what Smith said. And we don't know if we can trust him either, do we? Do you think he's really MI5? Well, they said he was. Those people at Lambeth Road. Yes, but it's Lambeth Road that won't let us speak to Mar Mossop. Yes, Ma. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. I've locked the back door this time. All right, all right. Stop getting at me. Come on. Mr. Hellman. And where are you going? Home. What are you doing here? What do you want? I saw the light on. Look, nothing was wrong. We know all about you, Mr. Hellman. How educational for you. Leave off, Colin. You'd better get out before I phone the police, Mr. Johan Hellman. Mr. Smith from MI5 has told us you're a wanted criminal. <laughs> you didn't believe him, did you? Oh, 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 fancy. Calling himself Smith. How original. <laughs> we phoned MI5 with a clearance code. They said he was Smith. An old trick, my dear. That was his accomplice. But we saw his official warrant. Uh, a clever forgery. <laughs> Uh, I see the time has come for me to take you into my confidence. You can keep a secret, I hope. Yes. Well, I am from the CIA. My job is to find out what happened to a rich and wonderful treasure that was found by chance in the Western Desert in 1941. Who found it? A young soldier in the 46th Pathfinders, the... Uh, the Breakspear Griffs. Breakspear Griffs? Just a nickname. And the young soldier, what was his name? Clark. Sergeant Nobby Clark. <laughs> Poor young Nobby, he never was much of a soldier. What was he doing in the desert? My dear boy, there was a war on at the time. That was only in Germany and that, wasn't it? Your education is sadly lacking. The battle in the Western Desert was a vital part of World War II. Oh, yes. So what was this Nobby Clark? Was he a soldier? Like in this photo? Why, yes. <laughs> yes, he was. 1941. A sandstorm had pinned the patrol down miles from headquarters. The desert wind shrieked like a thousand witches, whipping the sand and rattling the canvas of the stranded lorries. Next morning, they saw that the desert had reshaped itself into new hills and new valleys. The Kamshin. Ah, yes. The wild wind of the desert. 
Well, Nobby Clark climbed down from the cab of the lorry and saw, amid a rubble of rocks, a low building of sealed stone. So what did he do? Now, he ordered the unit to use the stone building as a store for the petrol and other equipment to be collected later by the advancing troops. The lads buckled to, and by nightfall, the stores were all piled neatly in the outer part of the building. Then they sat around under the starry sky, brewing up a cuppa and eating corned beef and bully biscuits. And then something strange. I know what he's going to say. What Amwar told us. The lads found an old sort of jar with a sealed top. Sweet wine in a great red pottery jar. And while Nobby Clark was looking around the building, making a map, collecting souvenirs, the lads had a drink from the jar. They said it was very sweet, heavy wine. Sweet as honey, to hide the bitterness of the poison within. Well, Nobby Clark didn't drink, so he never tasted the wine. But three days later, he was the only one left. Nobody knew what happened. And fever. Poison. What? No. No, just a coincidence. An old yarn. Poor Nobby Clark. You seem to know a lot about him, Mr. Hellman. Oh, yes. I know quite a lot about him. And the... Uh... Treasure was in the stone building? Yes. A treasure worth more than all the gold found in the so called tomb of Tutankhamun. Well, that's what he claimed he saw through a crack in the wall in the outer chamber. So, what's Ma Mossa got to do with all this? Yes. And why are you snooping around here all the time? What are you looking for? That's enough questions. You children want to know too much. But to know any more, my young friends, could be... dangerous.